Devin Hamilton on The Young and the Restless has survived a lot in his life, including living in the foster care system, losing his hearing, plane crashes, car accidents, and more. The character was introduced back in June of 2004 when actor Brighton James joined the cast of Wyandar. Over the years, he has been nominated for seven Daytime Emmy Awards for his work and took home the trophy in 2007 for Outstanding Younger Actor. Introduced as a delinquent living in group homes, Devon was taken in and fostered by Drusilla and Neil Winters. In 2006, Devon contracted meningitis and completely lost his hearing, so he underwent a cochlear implant to restore it. Neil and Drew finally adopted the teen in December of 2006, but the following spring, Devon was devastated when Drew was presumed dead. Devon began dating Roxanne, a friend of his sister, Lily Winters, and met his aunt Tyra Hamilton and her adopted daughter. Anna Hamilton, who is really Devon's half-sister, both abandoned by their mother, Yolanda. Neil was by then married to Karen Taylor, but Devon caught his father having an affair with Tyra. And after it was revealed that Tyra was also adopted into the family, Devon ended up having an affair with her, too. Roxanne dumped him and Tyra left town with Anna. The Winters family was all smiles at Christmas, 2004. Aaron Montgomery slash JPistudios.com After graduating college, Devon got a job at Tucker McCall's record label producing with Noah Newman. But after he was fired, Catherine Chancellor hired him to run her new label. Next, Devon learned that Tucker was his biological father and was reunited with his mother, who was now calling herself Harmony. After failing to sign Angelina Veneziano to a contract, Devon closed down his record label and got a job working in marketing at Job Oat Cosmetics. When Catherine passed away, Devon was stunned to learn he'd inherited the bulk of her estate. He struggled to come to terms with his new wealth and became paranoid. Devon bought the Genoa City Athletic Club and hired Lily and Kane Ashby to run it. He had fallen for Hilary Curtis, and was upset when she married Neil. After the wedding, Devon drowned his sorrows and confessed his love, and she ultimately returned his feelings. But they couldn't tell Neil the truth because he'd been electrocuted and lost his sight. The pair began having an affair behind his back. But Neil regained his vision and saw them together. After he confronted them on a trip to Chicago, their plane went down and they all nearly died. Devon was devastated when Hillary claimed she'd faked her love to avenge her mother's death, but she later admitted she was just pushing him away so he could salvage his relationship with his father. I saw her first. Howard Wise slash Studios.com After divorcing Neil, Hillary married Devon but went missing while on their honeymoon. Devon was the prime suspect. But it turned out Neil had rescued her after her accident and kept her hidden as a doctor tried to bring her out of her coma. Unfortunately, Hillary had amnesia and thought she was married to Neil, and even after regaining her memories, didn't remember her love for Devon. After Neil rejected her, Hillary tried to go back to Devon but he wasn't sure he could trust her feelings. Devon tried to bribe GC Buzz into killing a story about Jack Abbott and when it backfired, ended up buying the production company to shut it down entirely. Hillary convinced him to keep the show on the air but change how they reported things. Devon agreed and hired Hillary to be the lead anchor, but they clashed when her desire for ratings didn't mesh with his intention to report without destroying lives. He hired Mariah Copeland to keep Hillary on the right path, and the two women immediately clashed. Following a big fight, Devon stormed out on Hillary and got into a car accident that nearly killed him. She was by his side as he recovered, they ultimately split and she got ownership of GC Buzz in the divorce. 
Devon created the Hamilton Winders Group with Neil and they acquired Mergeron Enterprises, Devon signed a supporter to his new record label and tried to date Mariah, but it didn't work out because she had fallen for Tessa. Devon tragically lost his wife and the baby they were expecting. Howard Wise slash JPistudios.com Hillary was determined to have a baby, and Devon eventually agreed to be her sperm donor. He insisted they were not getting back together, but having a baby ultimately did lead to another reunion. They moved in together and invited Shauna, the teen Hillary had been mentoring, to live with them. However, Lily didn't approve of their reunion and continued to spar with Hillary. As they were fighting in the car, a truck hit them and Hillary was gravely injured. Devon arranged for them to be remarried in her hospital bed shortly before she passed away. Overwhelmed with grief, Devon blamed Lily for the accident and she decided to confess and go to prison for her part in Hillary's death. Devon had just pulled himself out of the hole created by his wife's death when Neil passed away unexpectedly. Thankfully, he had Elena Dawson to help heal his broken heart as he and the nurse began a relationship. After some initial discomfort on her part dating someone as wealthy as Devon, they became a couple. Although he did run into some financial trouble when a version of Catherine's will surfaced that actually left her fortune to Kane. Thankfully, that turned out to be a scam of Colin Atkinson's. Devon thought he was seeing a ghost. CBS more complicated was that the lawyer who showed up in Genoa City to deal with the will, Amanda Sinclair, was a dead ringer for Hillary. Devon was shaken by her appearance but soon came to terms with it as Amanda chose to stay in town. Eventually, the will was settled and Devon retained his fortune. Unfortunately, it was later confirmed that Amanda's resemblance to Hillary was because the two were long-lost twins. Despite Elena's concern over their growing closeness, Devon continued to meet with Amanda and tell her all about her late sister. This growing bond caused Elena to go behind Devon's back and sleep with Nate. Learning of the one-night stand, Devon slugged Nate and kicked Elena out. He then turned his attention to Amanda, and the pair grew closer as he helped her connect with her birth family. Devon became ordained as a minister in order to officiate Abby Newman and Chance Chancellor's wedding, and later agreed to be the sperm donor so that Mariah could act as their surrogate so they could have a child. While discussing their relationship, Devon and Elena found themselves giving in to their feelings and sleeping together. After it happened a second time, Amanda found out and, while Elena wanted to be with Devon, he let her down and admitted he wanted to be with Amanda, who eventually forgave him for his indiscretion. Devon also helped his young brother, Moses Winters, explore his interest in the music business as a potential career. Stay tuned to see how Devon's story continues. Ad block test, why?